для навиків.
switch for uh, this stopwatch and calculate the required time to save this tree. This tree includes uh, uh, more than uh, 80 elements, it's around 85 elements on this tree. If we uh, calculate the uh, time required to save this model, 1.5 uh, right. Uh, it's required uh, two minutes, around two minutes, to save this model and save all information of of this model. Now let's open uh, uh, this presentation of uh, SEG and let's introduce the SEG software. Uh, it's an engineering application software. You can use it to make a 3D digital prototype for. A static equipment like uh, pressure vessels, vertical, horizontal, and uh, multi sectional sections uh, columns, heat exchangers, storage tanks, ducts, and uh, storage tanks with a fixed roof. So you can, uh, you have the ability to create uh, a wide range of equipment by using uh, SEG software. By using SEG software, you can save up uh, more than 80% of your time and money. How we can do that? By uh, we, we make a comparison between uh, AutoCAD and uh, CAD software like Autodesk Inventor or SolidWorks or CATIA. Uh, the third way uh, in comparison, we make the model by using SEG software uh, plus Autodesk Inventor. In this comparison, you can figure that by using Autodesk, uh, by using AutoCAD, we consumed around 30, uh, 60 hours to uh, create the 3D model and the detailed drawings of this equipment. All of those drawings by using uh, CAD software like Autodesk Inventor or SolidWorks, we consumed around 35 hours. By using SEG software, we consumed around eight hours only. So you can figure that easily that you can save time and money. Uh, okay. So from here, you can figure that we have uh, different types of equipment you can generate it by using uh, SEG software, as we discussed, uh, vertical and horizontal pressure visits, storage tanks with a fixed roof, columns with multi-sectional sections, and ducts and pipes. Okay, let's come back to uh, our model here. Okay, uh, we uh, still saving the items. We consumed around two minutes. Maybe that because I'm recording this session and that takes uh, fluid from uh, the memory. Okay, let's come back to the presentation here. And you can figure that those are a real model we created by uh, SEG software for storage tanks with a fixed roof and spiral stairs, the arrangement of uh, roof plates. Here, uh, complicated uh, pressure visits with a piping inside and outside, and uh, a common uh, configuration of shapes like uh, David or in the closure, like this, okay, heat exchanger, many types, and inshallah, we have a webinar uh, this uh, next week, inshallah, uh, for uh, heat exchangers. Okay, now let's come back to the model. Okay, so I need to stop the record because it consumes the memory. Sorry. I hope, Hazan, that you can record uh, this uh, session, okay? Yeah, we are already recording the session, so no okay. need to worry, okay? Okay. Okay, now that... I hope uh, cost of the recording is... Started. Yes, here, here uh, after saving uh, the model, we will make, uh, uh, we will make some uh, modifications on the skirt, and I, I will tell you why this modification takes place. Here, I will uh, modify this according to the... Uh, access database file and define the lens of this one. Now I will start, uh, start creating uh, the uh, model of the uh, this tower. Uh, from here, I will open the assembly and click start assembly to start the modeling of this equipment. It, it will take around uh, nine minutes uh, because we we have in this model, uh, after creating it, we, we have more than uh, 150 elements, uh, and this model takes between uh, uh, nine or ten minutes. Now we start modeling this uh, this tower. Here the model uh, shall be created on Autodesk Inventor. Each element of those will be 
uh, created on Autodesk Inventor uh, automatically and created automatically and the assembly will be uh, assembled each item by item automatically. Now we let's complete our presentation here. Okay. Uh, some important information we should uh, fill it during uh, our project, like the project uh, data, uh, uh, project name, project uh, client, uh, the owner, location, and manufacturer, and the other data from the uh, project level. We have three different levels on uh, that SEG3. The first level is the project level. The second level is the equipment. Uh, level. Uh, in equipment level, we need to define uh, some information like design data of this equipment, design pressure, temperature, uh, design code, uh, construction design code, and many other information for this uh, equipment and the position of this equipment. Um, by opening the setting of the equipment, you have the ability to define the position of the vessel. If it's a vertical, horizontal, or sloped vessel, uh, define the delivered blade dimensions. Here, by uh, by defining the delivered blade dimension by using those values, SEG will calculate automatically the required item of blades needed to create the total circumference of the shell. You have the ability to define the units so that you will use it in your model in uh, millimeter or in inches. And by using uh, SEG uh, software, you have the ability to create whole parts uh, automatically assemblies. And you, have, you, you will get your uh, complete bill of material for your equipment. You can generate uh, many other features like nozzle opening, sheet metal, flat pattern for all blades in your uh, project. And you have the ability to export the 3D model to many different extensions to suit the other uh, CAD softwares like uh, Pro Engineer, uh, CATIA, CADWORKS, uh, SOLIDWORKS, and more. The same for drawings. And the same for sheet metal flat pattern. You have the ability to export it in DWG and the DXF extensions. Okay, we have an uh, SEG software, a tool for uh, making the bottom and roof arrangement. By using this tool, uh, you have the ability to arrange plates of the roof and the bottom easily. Uh, by um, making uh, uh, some arrangement of plates, dividing, uh, moving, uh, left or right, and we will discuss that in the next slide. Uh, for the storage tanks, you have the ability to uh, create uh, radial roof, arranged plates, uh, doom roof, bottom plates, annular plates, spiral stairs, clean outdoors, and manways. And in this uh, small video, uh, we will create a roof with uh, 42 meters in diameter. Okay, and here we generate the uh, 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 the project and from here we will define the deliver the blade dimensions and you can figure that uh, easily by defining the dimensions of uh, this uh, deliver the blade we will use it in a calculation now we will define we we add a, a radial roof and it defines the slope the diameter of the roof and from here we will make a, a arrangement of plates automatically after that you can modify on it like uh, dividing the plates or rotate the blades from the horizontal position to the vertical position and make uh, splitting on plates and defining the width of each plate okay defining the orientation of uh, the uh, welding lines uh, of the plate okay And after that, you will uh, send this information to Autodesk Inventor to create it easily. All of those information are saved in your project. Anytime you have the ability to modify and edit uh, it. Okay, now uh, we will um, make uh, some uh, adjustment for plates like this and change the orientation. And from here, we will click Start. Here, in Autodesk Inventory, you can figure that the assembly shall uh, uh, start like this, and the blades arrange it in the same way and the same dimension you uh, modify uh, or you defined it in uh, SEG. Okay, and you will get a complete bill of material for all blades, and uh, by those blades you can uh, make uh, 
after that make anything and we will discuss this one here that's a complete bit of material for the roof okay uh, by using SPG software you have the ability to create all uh, sheet metal plates in your project and by using Autodesk nesting tool you can generate uh, the uh, nesting blades for all of your project and you can imagine how you can save time and money by using uh, this tool Okay, let's uh, give a sample for that. Here for this storage tank, we uh, we will uh, open the annular plates and make the anesting for this annular plates, just opening the assembly. And from here, we will create assembly and click yes. Okay, now uh, this tool of Autodesk will detect the thicknesses and the material for all plates. And if there is a different material or a different thickness, it will separate it uh, on a different uh, sheet. Now, after importing uh, this one, we will define the uh, available plates in, in, in the stock from the market. After that, we will uh, make a listing. Okay. Here you can figure that by uh, making a listing, you will we, we will need uh, three uh, sheet plates. Uh, each sheet, sheet blade uh, includes four elements and after that you can make more and more. Uh, here we will uh, we have a tool for uh, integration tool. Uh, this tool for uh, deals with HTRI software which is a uh, thermal uh, heat transfer uh, calculation for heat exchanger. Uh, after exporting the CSV file from HTRI we can read this CSV file to make the um, tube bundle arrangement for uh, tube holding. Okay. And inshallah we will discuss that indeed uh, in our uh, webinar next week inshallah. Uh, and we have a special tool for making the uh, whole pattern. Uh, and uh, here you have the ability to select the tube layout and the location of the tube arrangement on the uh, bathroom. Select the path partitions and many different options to make your arrangement of tubes uh, inside uh, the tube bundle. Okay, uh, here. Uh, that's a small video for that. We will define the uh, heat exchanger inside diameter, pure diameter, pass partitions. Okay, select the pass partition. The whole uh, tire root diameter and ceiling root diameter. It's just a quick video for that, and we will discuss uh, all of that in, in, in deep, inshallah, in our webinar next week. Now, after creating the uh, arrangement of tubes, you you can figure that the, uh, uh, the tube number in each group, and you can modify the uh, pass partition location, okay, and you can get the uh, correct or a uh, near uh, number of tubes in each room. Okay, that's another tool in uh, SEG. And by using SEG, you, you, you have the ability to create a detailed bill of material for your uh, equipment and you have the ability to export it in uh, Excel uh, format. Uh, if you have another uh, department uh, need uh, this Excel to make some uh, information. And uh, you, you have the ability to create uh, uh, cost material cost report for your equipment by defining the price of each material per uh, ton and you have the ability to export it in HTML format. Another tool in SEG for uh, nozzle holding. By using this tool, you can make hole opening on the sheet metal. Uh, if you would like after that to make a sheet metal flat pattern, so you will need in this case to make the opening of nozzles on your Metal. So by using this tool, you have the ability to make the cut and nozzles. Another tool for uh, uh, automate, automatic uh, crea creation of the sheet metal flat pattern for each sheet metal plate in your project. And by using this tool, you have the ability to export uh, this model to DWG extension, DXF extension, and exporting it for nesting. Uh, the tool that we discussed it, uh, from uh, before. Uh, 
uh, here and uh, the exporting of the 3D model uh, 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 here uh, you can export the 3D model in many different extensions like DWG extension, uh, DXF, uh, step file, STL file, uh, IGIS file, SAT file, many different extensions for the 3D model. And regarding to drones, you, uh, you can generate your uh, drones and export uh, detailed information inside it. Uh, many tables like nozzle table uh, and this nozzle table includes uh, all information about the nozzle like the nozzle tag, nozzle service, nozzle size, outside diameter, thickness, schedule, external and internal projection, the enforcing band information and the welding detail and the connected flange. Uh, here, uh, after that, uh, uh, you have the ability to uh, add your border to our uh, database, so you, you you have the ability to use it uh, anytime. Uh, and uh, uh, in drawings, you you can add uh, a standard welding details from our uh, library. We have a huge library for welding details, so you can select from it to generate uh, your uh, drawing. And uh, here, that's the integration tool. Uh, a new tool in SEG. It's just a tool. We have many different tools in SEG software, and that's, that's just a tool you can use it to speed up your uh, work by exporting the MDB file from uh, the BD Elite. Okay, we will use SEG software to generate the 3D model of the equipment. After that, generating the uh, general arrangement drawing and the detailed drawings for this equipment. Okay, and that's a small video for, for that. Okay, and now let's check the model of the equipment. Now we have the complete model of the tower that we did by using uh, SEG software for the equipment. Now we will make some uh, adjustment or some customization on this model. Now we have uh, nozzles, shield, uh, shield plates, and other attachments, okay? You can figure that we create this model in minutes. And uh, now we will make some customizations like the nozzle, a bottom nozzle here. Uh, in the access file, no information about the connection. Like we have an elbow, for example, and after that we have a vibe. No information on the MDB file about that. So we will make that uh, from here by SEG. And SEG gives us the ability to, that, to do that easily. From here, we will select this connection. And from here, we will select elbow, go to elbow, okay, and let's define the type and the size of this one. From here, we will select this elbow and select the size 10 inches, and the thickness is 14 millimeters, like, like uh, the uh, flange, which we imported here, it's 20 inches, and for for 14 millimeters, so we will change the size here, make it 20. Okay, and let's add another vibe. So from here, we will add a vibe, go to vibe, okay. And from here, we will select this vibe and change the size to 20 inches and define the thickness and the length of this vibe click save and click start the assembly. And here uh, we will uh, update the model and make the modification on this model. And uh, you have the ability on the setting to make a preview or uh, um, you can see the uh, model during creation, each element during creation. And I will uh, make this uh, option here. You can figure that we add this elbow and vibe, but you can figure that the flange is still on place. The, the right arrangement of, of this one, uh, that the flange comes after the vibe. So we will move this flange after the uh, vibe. So we will make it, we will move it after the vibe. Okay, so we'll move this uh, flange after the vibe from here. And just to make so the arrangement, the right arrangement of, of this nozzle, nozzle, elbow, vibe, and flange. So we need to make 
uh, update for, for the model like this. Okay, and from here you can figure that the right connection comes like this. So by using this easy tool, we have the ability to make a customization for our uh, for the elements of our equipment. For example, let's change the projection of this nozzle. So if we select this nozzle on the top head, this one, and open the calculator, which calculates the projection from the uh, same line so we will define this value as 1200 and calculate the projection of this pipe to uh, adjust the facing of the flange from the uh, seam line of this head okay now we the pipe projection will be uh, 344 uh, to make the projection from seam line to uh, uh, flange facing so we will change it a little bit like this. Okay, the projection will be 104. And click Save. Now we will click Start the assembly to modify the projection of this nozzle. Okay, so if we measure the distance from the facing of this one, if we measure the facing from here to there, it's the same that we defined on SEG software. Okay, now we uh, will make some modifications regarding to the head right here, because this uh, formed head is uh, with a large diameter, four meters diameter. So it will not be from one piece. So if we need to modify it, after importing it from uh, the uh, PV elip. Now, if you if we select this head, which is a bottom end, you can figure that you can make it from one piece or two pieces with seam weld line like this, or you can make it from segments like uh, this figure on the right hand side. And uh, let's define the inside diameter of cut right here and uh, the weld facing the first longitudinal welding line orientation and the required segments for this head. Let's make it from five segments and click save. Now we will click start to start uh, creating this head from elements. And uh, I would like to uh, make the option of uh, a preview of elements during the creation uh, because it, it will give you a good indication uh, or an indication about the element during creation here from SEG. We will go to the setting of the equipment and from the app setting, we will select child preview and parent preview. Both of them will give you uh, the ability to uh, uh, to make a preview on Autodesk Inventor for uh, elements during uh, creation and. Uh, make this uh, normal uh, zoom uh, in Autodesk Invent. Here you can figure that this head, we make it from segments if we open this head here. You can figure that we make this head from segments and each element you can open it separately. Okay, like this. So those are the segments of the of the format head. So by using SEG, you have the ability to modify and make a customization for your elements after importing from uh, SEG. Now let's make a modification on the shell course, the first shell course. But before that, we will make a preview for that and click save the setting. And from here, we will select the first shell course. And you can figure that uh, it's automatically calculate that we need two shell blades, okay? And we need this slice here to complete the shell circumference. So the first slide is the same uh, delivered blade dimension, which is a 12 meters length. Okay, if we open this one, for example, that's 
the first shell, and if we carry the sheet metal flat pattern of this one and measure the lens, measure the lens of this one, it's 12 millimeters. This is the same defined dimension here for the deliver the blade dimension. If we open the setting and the select the bezel, and from here the equipment setting, that's the lens of the delivered blade dimension. Okay, now let's come back here and make this shell course from two equal pieces two equal pieces and if you would like to make it from uh, different lenses there is an option on the shell to make that you will find the different types of shell you can select between them but here we will make it from two segments two equal segments so we will click save and click assembly and uh, here uh, we will update the shell uh, plate you can figure that the shell blade will open on a separate document and you, you you have the ability to make a preview for it during creation that's the option that we talked about it and here you can figure that you change the uh, welding line orientation of the uh, shell plates and make it from two separate uh, plates like this okay two equal plates Okay. Now we will uh, add some attachments to this manway, like bolts uh, and uh, hand grip and david. Now we will measure. Uh, sorry, we will measure the required length of the bolt. Okay, so we will go back to the model and we will select this manway, which MH six, and select the blind of this manway. And from here we will add uh, hand grip. Okay, and click save. And from here, we will define the grip dimensions. So we need to define the uh, spacing orientation and click save. Now we will add a David. So from here, and six David. And from here, select the required type of the David. Let's select uh, this type of David and define the orientation and opening the direction. And from here, we will add a stub bolt. So we um, H6 stub and click save. From here, we will select the size of the stub bolt. and click save. Now we will start the assembly to start creating uh, all connections to this uh, manway, like hand grip, uh, stub bolts, and depth. And you can figure that uh, from this option, the, uh, uh, that you have the ability to make a preview for each element during the creation. Okay, uh, let's come back to uh, our presentation here and some uh, customization for some elements like uh, lifting lugs in SE software you have the ability to to add many different types of uh, lifting lugs and you can figure that you have a variety on selection and each type of those have many different options uh, that you that will give you uh, a wide range of, of selection here for, for example the first uh, lifting uh, type here uh, you can use it in a longitudinal direction and you have the ability to move the uh, the hole from uh, left to, to right and uh, that will give you uh, some uh, options you, you have the ability to add uh, coolers and uh, wear blade uh, the same for the other lifting lugs this one for circumference uh, direction you have the ability to add wear plate coolers stiffening grips or not so it's uh, optional, so it will give you uh, a variety in selection. This type of lifting lug is usually used in large diameter horizontal vessels. Okay. And that one for uh, mostly for uh, vertical vessels. Uh, and in this type, you, you have many different uh, options, like, uh, like you can make the end with, uh, uh, with a, um, a fillet like this, or with a chamfer like 
this one and the same for the end right here you can make it a straight end or you can make it with a fillet like, like this or a cut like this and you can make this cut with fillets like this or with sharp edges like that one you have the ability to add a cooler or ear plate or weld the lifting lug directly to the shell plates this type of lifting lug for small vessels uh, and um, th those types of four shell and you will find more types on uh, head and uh, blind flange like uh, lifting lugs which will lead to the blind flange they uh, usually use in heat exchanger or larger diameter uh, blind flanges okay this type of lifting lug and another type was the cross lifting lug uh, it's usually used there when we need to lift have equipment from one point uh, so the, we need this type of cross lifting lugs and the triune by using this type uh, you have uh, outer uh, ring or outer in the blade you you have the ability to add it or without it in this two cases so it's a uh, an option the outside rings you can add one ring or two rings like this case uh, the same for inside ring uh, you, you can add one ring or two rings or without any inside rings for this trunnion this type of uh, trunnion okay let's come back to uh, our model here we have this blind flange with david and uh, bolts like this uh, let's add a platform for for this one uh, so let's select this shell course and from elements we will select a platform and from here we will select platform one okay and let's define this platform so we will select uh, uh, the vertical platform and define the clearance between this platform and the shell define the width of the platform the height of rails the start angle Let's start from 44 and end to like this and the location of this one and let's add a ladder and cage for this ladder let's increase the, uh, the length of this ladder for example and click start and come back to the 3d model right here Okay, now we have this platform on uh, the equipment. And if we need to add some uh, platform clips or ladder clips to this equipment, if we come back to SEG software and from here we will select the parent element and from elements, we can add uh, external connections like platform clips or ladder clips. For example, let's add a ladder one. From here we will add from this clip we will add a wear plate for this clip and a slot hole define the lens width and location let's make this location at let's say like this and the orientation the same orientation of the ladder so let's come back to here and check the orientation of the ladder so it's the same orientation and now let's click start simply And now we have this clip on uh, the shell here. That's the clips. Okay, right here for the uh, ladder. Okay, with defined dimensions. And now uh, I, I would like to uh, show you uh, some important points on the MDB file. If we open the MDB file, 
left here. And the check the stiffening rings because in this model we have a stiffening rings, but the exported uh, MDB file not include information for the shape or the type of this stiffening ring. And you can figure that uh, during importing, I select external stiffening ring and make it a ring. But here, all information here it's a application section. No information regarding to the shape of uh, the, uh, this uh, this type of uh, Stiffening ring, if it's a T or uh, or I or H or or angle, no information regarding to that. Just the location of this one and some uh, information regarding to inertia and the area, not regarding to the configuration. Now we will make uh, make that uh, here an, an SAG. So we will select the first ring, ring one of five, and you can figure that the imported information is zero zero, and that's the location. 1850. So we will make that one as a built up section and make the same uh, location, change the same location, and define the dimensions of this uh, uh, cross section of this stiffening ring. The same we will do it for the other stiffening rings. Data location and for example, click save and let's select the ring three defined the same location. Okay, ring half over. And still we have one ring. This is stiffening ring. We have ring five. This one. And this stiffening ring. The last one. And let's start the assembly. Uh, here, I will. I would like to um, to notify for some important uh, points during the importing of uh, or exporting the MDB file, because some uh, users uh, export the access database file in a wrong way, so they will get a wrong information because they give SEG of Arabic information, so they will get a uh, wrong model. <clears throat> so uh, how we can export the access database file from BVLIT in a correct way? Uh, okay, this, in this uh, next slide, we will uh, discuss this point. Uh, uh, during importing SEG, uh, uh, during importing the access database file uh, to SEG, uh, we inform you that uh, you should uh, make some uh, steps before exporting uh, your uh, model to access database file. The first one is the unique names. Okay, unique names means uh, each element in your uh, file or in your uh, PVL model should have a unique name. Why? Because in all CAD softwares, if you have a project and uh, you should have a unique names for each element in, in your model. No repeated names because in the 3D model, when you open it, uh, the 3D model will get a reflect uh, or uh, between uh, the names. So you should have uh, a unique name for each element. That's the first point. The second point before exporting your, your model, you should uh, convert all units to millimeter, okay, the lens dimensions to millimeter units, no inches, okay? You should export it in millimeters. After that, you can uh, make it uh, again uh, to your units, but before exporting, you should make it in millimeter. The third one, which is the nozzle size. The nozzle size should be uh, defined as imperial, uh, ANSI imperial, not in then, 
like it should be uh, two inches, uh, four inches, eight inches, not uh, 20 millimeters or 50 or, uh, or 600 millimeters or 24 inches. So you should uh, export your model after uh, changing the size of nozzles in uh, imperial units. Uh, the last point, which is the characters, okay? And we will discuss it uh, that on the next slide. When I received the exported uh, X, uh, access database file from uh, from uh, our customers uh, before this presentation, we uh, I, uh, I found that we have uh, repeated names on the main elements. The main elements table includes the main elements of, of the equipment, like shell, head, cone, uh, all of those elements, flanges. Uh, so I found that we have uh, repeated names. If you take a look, we have five elements with the same name, which is a scale. We have two elements with the same name, which is shell two. We have another two elements with the same name, which is cone. So I make a modification. So on the right hand here, we take a look. We have those elements with the same name, those elements with the same name, which is shell two, those with the same name, which is cone. I make a modification, make a one element as a scale and modify the names to make them a unique names for the main elements. The same problem I found it on the uh, stiffening rings. We have here the same stiffening rings, uh, the same trays with the same name. Uh, and that will cause a big problem in uh, the CAD software and the SEG software too. So I make a modification for names and make it a unique names, no repeated names. The same problem I found it on the stiffening rings. Here you can figure that the same names for stiffening rings. So I make this modification for names. For nozzle sizes, when I received this file, I found all nozzle sizes in millimeter or in bin. So I convert it to inches. So we notify this for our customers. You should export the MDB file after changing the units and the nozzle size to be in imperial format, not in bin format. So I changed that to be imperial. Okay. Uh, uh, and the characters. The name of elements shouldn't include those characters. Those characters in, uh, causes a problem in database, in our database. So you should avoid making those characters in your uh, in names of elements. Okay. So those are the four steps to uh, to make a correct uh, reporting for the access database file, those four points, unique names, units, nozzle sizes, and characters. Okay, so let's come back to the model here. After modifying the stiffening rings, we have the correct stiffening rings here and there. Okay, now let's create the drawing for uh, this equipment. And here I will change this view to be a front view to make this uh, view on the drawing on that one and let's come back to the model here and from visual we will select the equipment and from drawing we will select drawing and select create drawing and from create drawing we will select the size of the drawing let's make it a uh, zero and a node and from here we will select two sides the first side which is division Let's make it all capital. Okay, and from here, let's make this. And back view, our bottom view. And from here, let's select this view, which is the left view. So that view, which is the left view, will be our elevation. Okay, and the back view will be that one. Okay, so let's come back. To the model and complete the information. And from here, we will make a scale of the equipment and we will export the bill of material design data, nozzle table, flange table. Uh, we have a fitting, a gasket, pipe, and the nodes. Okay, regarding two nodes, we have a standard nodes. If you would like to delete or edit, just click delete to delete the. Uh, ones that you would like to delete it or make edit for uh, if you would like to add for example add new mode and just add it 
right here. And if you would like to edit or delete or modify, if you would like to edit this node, for example, just click edit and you have the ability to edit this node right here. Okay, and if you would like to import the uh, uh, notes from uh, Excel file, you can import it by using this tool, which is import from Excel. Regarding to the welding details right here, we have a library for standard welding details. You can select uh, from it like this, for example, select the required uh, details for your model. Okay, and click save. And now we will um, uh, update the revision table. From here, we will shoot. review and, and add more rows in the revision table. Let's delete this one. Okay. And define the drawing name. The drawing number okay and from design data here if you would like to separate some tables on another uh, sheet you, you have the ability to do that by selecting if you would like to make it from one sheet two sheets or three sheets but right now we will create the drawing let's click on create drawing here the drawing size will change it automatically Okay, and the, uh, the views of the tower will be uh, added to the model. Now the revision table. After that, the bill of material. Here. And it will be uh, added automatically on the right place on the drawing. In this drawing after creation, I will modify the size of this drawing because a node is a little bit large. We will modify it and make it uh, A1 in A1 size. Okay, and uh, change the location of tables manually. If we would like to uh, change the location of tables. Uh, here, uh, after creating the bill of material, uh, you will figure the uh, number of elements in the bill of material I, I will show you that it's around uh, more i think more than 200 elements in this uh, uh, this uh, top so you can figure that it's a big model it's not a sm just a small demo it's a big model and uh, actually if you would like to make it on any other software you will consume the days and days to to create something like that but here in seg uh, SEG will uh, save time and money for you. I make everything automated. Uh, you just import the MDB file from the MBV edit, and now we generate the 3D model. And uh, right now we are uh, making the uh, automated drawing for uh, our uh, equipment. And you can figure that now we have the uh, the. Uh, bill of material automatically and if we take a look to the number of elements in this model as inventor elements uh, uh, we have uh, 275 elements in this model okay all of that generated automatically by uh, seg okay if we make an extent now we have the design data nodes that we defined now we have the nozzle table of this equipment If we take a look to the nozzle table, Okay. Many, many different tables and each table include a lot of information regarding to your model, like gaskets required, flanges, pipes, fittings in your model. And if you would like to export the nozzle loading to your rowing, uh, you will add uh, a load for 
uh, the required the nozzle and by using this you can you have the ability to export the nozzle uh, load table now the welding details to the drawing like this You the selected welding details uh, that you selected from the model will be uh, the, from the our library or SEG library. It's uh, at here, and uh, the information that you defined, like the drawing name, visible uh, name, and uh, manufacturer, all of those that shall be reflected automatically to your title block. Okay. Uh, so by using uh, SEG, we uh, I think we start from. Um, 45 minutes ago, and in this uh, time, we generate this uh, tower, okay, and generate a general arrangement drawing for uh, this tower. And we just need to make some uh, adjustment for uh, the drawing size and add some dimensions, like we would like to add a nozzle tag, for example, for this nozzle. If we would like to add a nozzle tag for this nozzle, Automatically, SEG will detect the name of this nozzle because you defined it on uh, uh, in your uh, model, which is a, a node name, so like that. And if you would like to uh, add a reference point, let's add the turn line here. and add a datum at this point as a datum point to measure from here to there. Let's continue like this. Okay. And if we have a nozzle and if we would like to add a datum for this nozzle, it depends on here. So that's the location of this nozzle, <clears throat> and we would like to add a name for this nozzle just like this. So you have the ability to add dimensions for your model in minutes. It will not take um, more time from you to modify or update this like this. Just let's say 15 minutes in this tower to add all of your dimensions or required dimensions here and there, like. For example, inside diameter here, like this, thickness, like that. Okay, uh, one more point I would like to uh, discuss it uh, here because when I checked uh, this uh, model, I uh, found uh, a point regarding to the uh, regarding to the uh, uh, wrong data. Uh, not correct data on as a model. Uh, here on the uh, conical section here, uh, the dimensions of knuckle radius and uh, small radius, uh, those dimensions are not logic. If you would like to draw it by AutoCAD or by hand, or uh, those dimensions will, 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 will not give you the correct shape because it will make a conflict. Uh, it will not be a correct. So I make a modification before creating the model on those values. So let's let's give you a sample. If I open this cone, for example, okay, and go to the sketch which we use it to draw this cone, this sketch here. Okay, this value here on the uh, on the uh, received uh, axis database file it's uh, uh, 400, and for this one 350. If we would like to change it. Let's make it. It's it's end more like this, okay. But if we would like to add change this to that value, which is three hundred and thirty, like this, it will not be changing. You will you you cannot make it uh, like this. You will get an error, okay. Uh, if you would like to change it. So if we, you would like to change it again, Inventor will not accept this value. Because this value is a wrong value, you will, it will not give you a correct shape or co correct configuration. So, so you should uh, be sure if you, if you have an error and 
element, you should be sure that you, you make the right uh, or the correct logic dimensions to get your uh, your uh, okay. Uh, uh, any questions right now after uh, making uh, after that? Any questions, if I was on? No, uh, let thank me you. check. Okay, Sauravji, do you have any questions? Anybody uh, else uh, having any questions? Uh, uh, actually, we have two, three questions, uh, Fudan. Uh, first was uh, uh, regarding uh, regarding uh, the requirement of non-standard flange as girth flange to the column. Uh, is that possible? Okay, regarding two non-standard flanges, we an SEG software here. If we uh, let's add an element, let's add, uh, for example, on this nozzle, let's add a non-standard flange. So from here, uh, you will find that design the flanges. So if we select on design the flanges, let's name it as F1. Okay, uh, and click save. Here in uh, F1, if you uh, select it, you can figure that you have many types of non-standard flanges. You can define, uh, uh, you will find a wide range of non-standard flanges just to select the required shape and de define your dimensions. Like integral will make flange, integral will make flange with a grooved face, not raised face, a flat face or ring joint. Just to select the suitable shape, slip on and uh, integral ring, integral slip on, just select the required shape and modify your dimension. You have the ability to add a guiding bin, jack screw, or vent hole to this flange for this non standard flange. Okay, for jack screw, for example, changes the size, and if you would like to make it as a user defined, just click on user defined dimension and modify the size of jack screw manually. The same for vent hole, if you would like to add a vent hole, just to select the standard sizes, one of the standard sizes, if you would like to modify it manually, just to select user defined and define the dimension of this vent hole manually. Okay, let's come back to the main elements tab here. From the main elements, you can figure that you have many, many different elements. You, you can add it as a main element, like head. In the head tab, if we select this head, for example, you will find more than uh, 70 uh, elements or different elements of, of heads, like conical head with closed and uh, conical head with uh, uh, muckle radius at, at the end, hemispherical head with negative straight flange, which is usually used in uh, division two, convex head, uh, standard uh, cab, many different types of head. That's for one element, which is the head. And the same for shell blades, for example. If you if we select the shell uh, element, you can define it as a vibe or as a shell, but without any welding lines, if you would like to make something like that. Or you can make it shell from different pieces. This time, you, we usually use it on uh, storage tanks, because in storage tanks, you may need to define each blade separately, the length of each blade, or the circumference of the tank separately. Threaded pipes many different types on shell. And if we come back here to the, uh, to, uh, the elements of here, you can you, you have the ability to add a chamfered uh, blade as a vibe or as a shell blade, cone centric and eccentric cone from blade, standard flanges, designed flanges, blinds, different type of standard blinds, connection flanges, two flanges with a gasket uh, automatically, tube sheets, if you would like to add a gap between elements, standard, uh, fittings like uh, standard cones or standard reducers, uh, elbows, T, uh, plugs, uh, gaskets, gaskets with bus partition for each exchanger, expansion joints, Y joint for uh, heads, uh, for division two uh, calculations, you, you may need sometimes to make a, a Y joint, valves, manometer, pumps, end closures, agitator, end blades, sections, and elements for uh, ABI storage tanks like dome roofs, ducts, many type of ducts. Here by using SEG, you can create many different type of ducts and the custom items. For example, if we select a shell, for example, you have the ability to add many different childs to this one. For example, for this group, which is a support group, you have the ability to add saddle, stack the saddle, legs, legs, skirt, anchor chair, uh, many different type of cradles and nozzle openings like 
nozzles according to SME or ABI with internal projection or without internal projection couplings. Clean outdoor uh, well bullets stud outlet for the lifting lugs we discussed. The lifting lugs, external attachments like nameplate, the grounding lug, uh, external reinforced band stiffening rings, ladder clips, uh, nozzle uh, support trips, installation rings, platform supports, uh, ladders and uh, nozzle uh, supports, the same for internals, deflector, embenchment baffle, uh, the, the mister, uh, stiffening rings, trays, platforms and coil and half. Uh, can, can you tell us uh, the attachment one? Okay, let's uh, let's check a point regarding to the uh, support side. Here if we that one. Is that the support side? Here, if we take a look for one of those ends, like uh, the support saddle. Here, we have main four uh, four main types of saddles. The first type is a saddle with uh, uh, with outer ribs, and the uh, mid rib uh, or mid rib is uh, without any edges. The second type, if we take a look at this, here we have this edge right here, but the first type not include any edges here, and the edge on the second type goes to the center of the equipment. Uh, on the third type here, we have this type of saddle. Uh, the web uh, has a straight edge like this, goes to the, down to the bottom, not to the center, not to the center of the vessel. The fourth type uh, has a lifting lug, and this time uh, one of our uh, customers in uh, USA asked us to add this type because they are usually used it in heat exchanger. They are lifting their heat exchanger by using this type of uh, saddles. Okay. Uh, and each type of those has three different cases. The first case, the web on I'm at, the middle. I'm at, okay. uh, actually, yeah. uh, customer is asking uh, to show demister and trees. Can you show that uh, through software? Okay. Okay, here let's add a section, view. Okay, but uh, I would like to inform you that uh, it's not a detailed demister. It's just for uh, uh, for your uh, drawing, not a detailed demister. It's just to indicate that you have a demister on that level in your drawing. I will show you this point here. Regarding to demister, for example, let's add a demister on the last uh, shell course. So let's select the last shell course here, which is that one. And from elements, let's add an internal demister and click save and from here let's select this type of demister this type of demister we have a demister and stiffening ring with support it's like this defined the height clearance between the inside diameter of this uh, demister and the shell defined the material by the way uh, clearance of the model defined the location of this demister and define the dimensions, uh, number of clips, uh, angles. Okay. After that, you will click save and start the assembly of the model. So if we come back and make a section again, here, yeah, let's make this section. Okay, now we have this demister right here. So you can indicate the location of this demister here on your model, that one. Okay, so you can indicate it on the drawing, indicate the location and all of that. Okay, and regarding to the uh, supports and all of that, the bill of material will be calculated automatically for that one. And if we open the tables and if we click on uh, bill of material right here, we will get a complete bill of material for uh, our 
equipment. That's uh, it. Another, okay. there is one, one more question. Uh, yes. Is it possible to add EIL standard request such as EIL type of saddle, demister, or any other EIL specific items which they are actually dealing with? I think it is customizable, right? So, yes, yes. Uh, we can customize uh, the saddles can... as per their requirement, right? Yes, you have two options. The first option you can, uh, uh, and that's the first one, you can create this item on Autodesk Inventor and add it to uh, your model uh, manually and reflect it in bill of material. Okay, it's uh, some uh, steps you will do it to, uh, to add uh, your element to, uh, to the 3D model of SEG and add it to the SEG uh, library. The second way, uh, you could, uh, if you have a time, you could send us this standard or this spec for our technical team, and our technical team will create it and add it to SEG library, so you can use it anytime. Okay, but this step takes a time because uh, our technical team have a lot of requests, so uh, it may take a time to generate uh, this standard spec and add it to SEG. Around uh, three or one month, three weeks or one month. To make it done. Okay, okay. And it will be available on the next uh, update of uh, this issue. So one more question is there is there any option for auto dimension like nozzle name, dia, thickness, etc.? Uh, uh, there is an option, but we don't recommend it because it will give you. Uh, a large number of dimensions, okay, and you will need the time to delete what not required. I will give you a sample, for example, for uh, this nozzle, for example, which contains from uh, pipe and uh, blind. It's three to drawing. Here, let's make it um, a node, and let's add another view, and from here, let's make it five and let's add dimensions for example now we will add automated dimension to this model and let's create this just for a quick uh, review or view okay you can you can figure that the dimensions is uh, let's change the scale a little bit there okay this is fine uh, another question an is uh, but this is it's an optional but you will get a, a large number of dimensions you will need a time to to delete this and adjust this one it's better uh, we recommend that you you do it uh, manually it's better because you will select the required dimensions that you you would like to notify it on your draw okay fine another question is uh, is there any option for different types of internal distributor Yes, uh, for distributor, for example, if we add uh, for the internal, let's add a deflector or distributor, uh, no distributor here, but you can make an indication for it on the drawing. Okay. Okay. But for deflector, for example, if you would like to add deflector for the vibe or uh, battle you will find um, different types of uh, of deflector you can select between them the same for uh, if we add Benjamin to battle and this time usually used for tick exchangers this battle you can use this time another type another type many different types of uh, battles and Benjamin battles you can use it on it changes like this. Okay, each type, each element of uh, those elements, each element of those, you will find uh, many options. For example, if we select a nozzle, nozzle on shell, for example, you will find uh, more than 15 types of nozzles. The first type, which is a nozzle from pipe, which is a common one, a nozzle from blade. Okay, a uh, long weld neck nozzle, long weld neck nozzle according to uh, ASME, and the second one according to BSEN, which is a European standard, uh, long weld neck with uh, self reinforcement ends, 
standard uh, nozzles with a, as a power jet hub, uh, user defined power jet hub, many, many types of nozzles you can define it uh, from this form. So each, each uh, element for each uh, main type uh, of elements, uh, you will find uh, uh, a different uh, uh, types inside this one. Okay, and you uh, uh, you can figure easily that uh, we have a wide range of elements inside uh, the uh, library of uh, SEG. Uh, any other questions for them? Hello? Fazan, can you hear me? Hello, Fazan? Uh, yes, let me check. Any questions, team? Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to ask. Hello, I have just one question uh, regarding the bolt. As uh, you shown in the presentation. Hello? Yes, I'm hearing you. Can you hear me? Yes, yes I yes, can hear you. Uh, proceed. Yeah, actually, during your presentation, I seen that uh, you have calculated the bolt length based on the flange thickness and gaskets. So, do we have such feature in this uh, software that key bolts can be calculated automatically based on the flange thickness and gasket? Yes, if it, if it was making automatically, I will do it without calculating. But as you can figure, I calculate the thickness. After that, add this value to the bolt. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, is this point is clear or, or still uh, need some clarification? Yeah, please clarify a little bit more because... Uh... <clears throat> okay, here in, in the bolts for the blind, when I create a bolt to uh, this blind, I will need to measure the required because this bolt not only for standard flanges. Okay, you can use it in any designed flange. So no, no, I am talking about I am talking about the standard flanges. I know, I know, I know, I know what you are talking about. I'm just clarifying the point. Okay. okay. So this bolt you can use it for the standard and the non-standard flanges. So uh, in, in the two cases, you will need to measure the required knot spacing. The knot spacing, okay, so you, we, we will need to measure this length, which is the spacing between knots. So if we come back here to this point and open the uh, third bolt right here, we need to modify the knot spacing here, okay, oh, which is uh, uh, the thickness of two flanges and the gaskets, and the gasket between. Okay, so we need just measure, it's, it's just, it will not take a second like this. Measure this value, okay, and add it to the model right here. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ahmed, uh, one more question is there. Uh, in elevation view, is there any option to show indicatively like all internals such as Tray, your distributors, horizontal baffle, or the vortex breaker. So, can we see all yeah, this in I the don't understand. I don't understand. Kindly, kindly say that again. In elevation view, is there any option to show indicatively all internals such as tray, distributor, horizontal baffle, vortex yes, breaker, yes, etc.? Okay. Okay, now I get I get the point. On the 3D model, you can make uh, this model as high lines like this, and you can figure the internals easily like this. But on the uh, on this option for shaded view, you will not be able. If you select a section, you can um, uh, make the, all those lines visible. And if you would like to open the drawing, to check if the drawing, uh, let's open the drawing of. The general arrangement. During our selection here, you have the ability from the drawing, if we click, right click and from the drawing right here, if you uh, select this style or this style, that's a shaded style or a hidden uh, 
uh, lines. So in this type, all lines on the drawing will be uh, as a hidden lines. All hidden lines will be visible. But if you select this style, no hidden lines. And this style make uh, uh, the visible with shaded, uh, takes a color, the real color on the 3D model. Okay, so let's come back to the model here. All internals are up here. Yeah, so if you would like, for example, to add uh, the location for this demister like this and click continue. So that's the location of uh, this demister from the uh, uh, datum point that we added here. And if you would like to make this datum hidden in your drone, just select any dimension and uh, hide origin point to hide this one. And let's end. Okay, I'm going understand. Let's rotate this like this. And that's the data line on our drawing. Okay. So in drawing, uh, you can make it with hidden or visible. On the 3D model, you have an option here for uh, view. This option for shading, you can make it with a wireframe like this or make it shaded with edges like this. Any other questions? Ahmed, I have one more question. I, Ahmed, I have one more question. Yes. Uh, can we set the uh, scale of the drawing also? Save what? Say, uh, a scale, a scale of the drawing. Can we adjust the scale of the drawing? Did you got adjust my point? Yes, sure. For, for example, uh, let's uh, make an update for the drawing. Here, on the setting of this drawing, we make the scale as a 90 okay. and the okay. location of the view. Okay, so okay. from here, let's, let's change this scale a little bit and move the uh, move the location of the this one. Let's make it 40 and like this, and let's click create and come back to the model. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah, uh, anything else? Uh, anybody has any more queries? So, I uh, mean, uh, I think uh, okay. now there is no any queries available uh, left now. Okay. So, you can, okay. Uh, if uh, okay, I'd like to, uh, to say something at uh, the end. Uh, Okay, Fauzan, I would like to say yeah. something at the end. Uh, thank you for your uh, for your time, and I I, uh, I hope that we uh, cover your uh, questions, and uh, I hope this uh, demo meets your uh, requirements. Uh, and you can figure easily, uh, no existing software uh, can do all of that in minutes. We just consumed around uh, one hour. Okay, one hour to make a complicated uh, column like this. So, uh, in, in, uh, if you would like to make some customization, you, SEG will give you the ability to do that easily. And all, all information will be stored in your file. And anytime you you have the ability to modify your 3D model and your bill of material, your drawings easily. But yeah, thank you again for your time. Thank you, Fauzan, and your team, Fauzan. Thank you so much. Thanks, 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 thank thank you so much, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you all. Thank you all. Okay, okay. thank you so much. Bye-bye. Salam alaikum. Thanks. Bye -bye.